Well, now to a major settlement in the lawsuit accusing Fox News of airing lies related to the 2020 election. Fox and Dominion voting systems agreed on a settlement of more than $787 million to avoid a trial. Scott McFarlane was at the courthouse when the deal was announced. This was the ultimate last minute settlement. The jury was seated. Opening statements were about to begin when both sides blinked and agreed to an eye popping dollar figure. Avoiding a trial that would have turned Fox News's biggest stars into star witnesses, the company will cut a $787.5 million check to Dominion Voting Systems. The president's lawyers alleging a company called Dominion. Which Fox they was say accused of knowingly airing conspiracy theories and baseless claims falsely linking Dominion to a scheme to flip votes during the 2020 election. So much for those claims that voter fraud never happens. Of course it happens. They knew it happened. That's despite evidence, including internal messages in which Fox executive Suzanne Scott warned challenging Trump's bogus claims could hurt ratings. Today's settlement of $787,500,000 represents vindication and accountability. Lies have consequences. And the settlement included a public statement from Fox, which Tuesday night said it acknowledged the court's rulings finding certain claims about Dominion to be false. But there was no requirement of an on-air apology or retraction, and Fox attorneys declined to speak to reporters outside the courthouse. The folks at Fox are big boys and girls, and they can say whatever statement they want in the future to recognize what they did and what this court found. But we think that the dollar figure that they agreed to today speaks for itself. The settlement spares Dominion from having to put its fate in the hands of 12 jurors and from years of likely appeals if the case went to trial. They get an acknowledgement that this was wrong and they get to move on. And in that sense, this is more accountability than people have seen from Fox News. Dominion still has a defamation lawsuit pending in this same courthouse in front of the same judge against Newsmax for claims made after the 2020 election. And Fox still has a defamation suit against it from voting machine company Smartmatic, which is seeking $2.7 billion, a suit that could yield an even larger sum. Vlad, Anne-Marie. All right, Scott, thank you. So for more on this, we want to bring in Roy Gutterman. He is a professor at the Syracuse University College of Law and the director of the Newhouse School's Tully Center for Free Speech, which is what Fox News kept on arguing this was all about, free speech. So does this settlement set a precedent for other media companies? Let me say this from a technical legal standpoint, it's a precedent, but it certainly creates a model for both plaintiffs, potential plaintiffs, and and the media. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw the contours of, of defamation law and the actual malice standard uh, played out through uh, motion papers and through discovery. And if anything, this reiterates some of those standards. Um, so, you know, Fox News is facing a, a another defamation lawsuit. It's another company, a voting technology company, Smartmatic. Um, you know, maybe, I don't know how different the two lawsuits are, if they're different at all, but could Tuesday's settlement with Dominion, you know, have an impact on the possibility of a settlement with Smartmatic? Well, the cases are very similar, and some of the statements that were at issue with the Dominion case are actually uh, some of the same statements that are at issue with, uh, with Smartmatic. So the cases are very similar, the arguments are very similar, and the personalities on, on the Fox side are very similar. Um, so, mm -hmm. yes. So, well, you know what I was going to ask you? As the director of the Newhouse School, uh, School's Tully Center for Free Speech, I'm wondering if you're a tad disappointed by the settlement. Were you, you know, looking forward to how this uh, court case would have played out? Yeah, well, Many in the, the, the media bar side on this are, are of mixed emotions mm -hmm. uh, from the beginning. Uh, on one hand, this case was very simple. It was about false statements of fact with the election denying and, and the conspiracy theories. But on the other hand, had this gone forward, it, it could have put a real test on the actual malice standard in the First Amendment. And the, the conventional wisdom is appeals courts um, might not entirely uh, be eager to reiterate 
uh, the, the actual malice standard because of current trends and current legal arguments. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I, a settlement might have been the best opportunity and the best uh, way to resolve this all the way around from the plaintiff side all the way to uh, the media side as well. So as you know, with these settlements, there's all sorts of sort of negotiated ways, language used to get out of taking full responsibility. So Fox News did not explicitly admit any wrongdoing in its statement. Uh, but it, it said what it said was, we acknowledge the court's rulings, finding certain claims about Dominion to be false. I mean, is that an, an acceptance that Fox News did something wrong? Or what do you make of that statement? I think Fox is trying to straddle the line as they, as it's done from the very beginning since the election mm. to sort of raise questions, uh, play to their viewers, play to uh, their their loyal viewers, and have some deniability on liability as well. So, um, you know, the statement is one thing, and uh, uh, seven hundred eighty seven billion million dollars is another. Mm hmm. Well, you know, you heard some of the the uh, testimony from the pre-trial depositions. There was a lot of wrangling about how much money or how many viewers Fox News was losing. You, but this is a lot of money to lose as well. Um, how do you think the settlement will impact Fox News moving forward? Well, nobody wants to pay this, uh, this kind of money. Uh, even a lucrative media business would you know, probably will feel some pinch on this in, in their pocket, mm -hmm. but it could have been worse. Uh, and 787 million is not a billion or more. And this mm -hmm. case in front of a jury could have yielded a lot more or it could have yielded a lot less, but it was a gamble on everybody's uh, side and the settlement avoided any sort of further risk for, for everybody involved. Well, we'll see how the rest of the cases shake out. Uh, Professor, who knows, we may be talking to you again after Smartmatic, uh, you know, tries to either settle or heads into the courtroom. Thank you so much. Thank you.